Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I have a small Michaels haul for you. Um, I got some really good stuff. <laughs> and um, what happened was, is that I went to Michaels with a 50% off coupon. And every time I go to Michaels, I go and look at the Jane Davenport's. And I have the Brights and I have the uh, Glitzy, but I don't have the new, or I didn't have <laughs> the neutrals. And I have been looking at my Michaels and the one in the city next to us. Those are pretty much the only two I ever go to. I have been looking at their Jane Davenport sections every time I go for about two years now looking for the neutrals set and they never have it and they don't even have an, a rack where labeled with it that I could like see and go oh they're all sold out so it's basically as if they never even carry it but so anyways the other week I went in with my 50% off coupon and I uh, went to the Jane Davenport section. My eyes go straight to the watercolor palettes and I see one watercolor and it's the neutrals. I was like so excited that at first I didn't see just underneath of them the great big sign that said 50% off all Jane Davenport. Then I like practically screamed in the store. So I didn't use my 50% off coupon to get this because it already was 50% off. And it was the first time I've ever, ever, ever seen this there. So I considered it my day <laughs> to get Jane Davenport stuff. So I indulged a little bit with some stuff that I would never normally buy and you know, there's lots of other things I would use my 50% off coupon for than these items that I got. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy to have them. So, what I got was the neutrals. And I've already been using it. So, you can see it is starting to look used. And I swatched all the colors here. And... They're not as uh, bright as they are in real life, but uh, yeah, you can see there. They're actually really pretty colors. I don't know why the Neutrals palette isn't as popular. I think it's because of the name, Neutrals. It just makes you think of gray and brown, peach, you know. But this is the palette where you get black and white. The other two palettes don't have black and white. So that takes up two of your 12. And then basically it's got four browns, but they're really pretty browns. There's Kiss Kiss, which is um, kind of the orangish brown. Then there's Spice, which is a tan brown. Then you get Buff, which would be your Caucasian flesh color. Um, sorry, there's yeah then there's sand which is a very light um brown and finally there's cocoa which would be your um dark skin color um, i th i think you could pretty much use sand as a very light uh you know not caucasian but uh, you know having a little bit of color to the skin you know maybe it might even work for oriental skin I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, so you've got those five browns, and they're nice browns. So uh, you go with that. Of course, you, black and white, like I said, there's one gray. And then you have four primary, well, not primary colors, but you have four brights. So you've got a yellow, a red, a blue, and an orange. And the um, yellow and blue are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. They're probably my favorite of all the palettes and I really like bumblebee but this mango is got it's a tinge more orangey and that just makes it pop for me so I really like this I really like this palette 
So I'm really pleased to have all three of them now. So what else did I pick up? Uh, okay, well here, let me show you what I did use my 50% off coupons on. Uh, first thing I got was this. And uh, I don't know if you can read it there, but it's a Whitman. A Whitman. It's a Windsor Newton watercolor tube uh, of, now what's it called again? Neutral Tint. This is something that I never ever thought I <laughs> would purchase and I've never actually heard of the color Neutral Tint. But my watercolor book that I'm going through with the lessons uh, does have a lesson on using Neutral Tint. Basically it's a black but it doesn't have any um, color in it like it's it's pigment it, it says here what the pigment numbers are but the two I can't read them because I don't have my glasses on it so it is a type of black very very dark gray but it doesn't have any color in it and it's you're supposed to use it for uh, mixing and uh, I have used it and it's pretty cool so this was I think $14 so I got it for seven then the other thing I got was something that's been on my Amazon wish list forever, but I just never buy it because there's always something more exciting to buy. And this, that is this uh, color wheel. And uh, I used my 50% off. I think this was like 12 normally, so I paid six for it. And of course I'm speaking Canadian dollars, but what I really want this for is to use the, um, the color uh, choosing things in here like I, I won't use it as a mixing palette so um, this side on here is uh, for mixing colors and I'm not great at like I don't like mixing colors I'll have to tell you that from my watercolor lessons I really do not enjoy mixing colors uh, for various reasons which I won't get into but I like having the lots of colors to choose from so I'm not going to use this side. What I am going to use is this side, using this to help me pick out some color combinations that I've never thought of before. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to opening this and putting it to use. I've been keeping it unopened all this time so I could include it in my haul. So this is what I ended up putting my 50% off coupons on. So, along with the Neutrals palette, the other Jane Davenport items I got, oh, this is the box that it comes in, uh, the pretty little faces that you can cut out and stick into a journal. I got the collage sheets, and I've really, really, really been wanting to um, get some of these because I see people use them and I can uh, yeah let's just say I can imagine myself using these and I'm pretty excited actually you know what let's open it up and take a look at one so if you're like me and never actually seen a sheet in real life let's be adventurous and use it now and look at this packaging this will be absolutely fantastic to use in uh, for me, I'll be using it for junk journals or tags or something like that, but um, you can make any kind of ephemera out of this. So let's just take one sheet out and have a look. So basically, it's like a napkin. It is a napkin. I'm pretty sure you even have to remove the, the backing. Yep, that's interesting. Does it say collage papers? How do they call a napkin a collage paper? I don't know how thrilled I am with that. I thought they would be like tissue paper. So yeah, there's one. There's one on there. It's pretty, but it's got the crimped. It's got the crimped edges on it. And I don't know how much I like that. Hmm. Well, that's a little 
not exactly what I expected but still they are really pretty okay so we got those then I got what is this called I got the uh, paper pad and I've had look-sees through this let's just take these off so they don't stick to stuff so this is a paper pad and it is a very strange size it's eight by nine and a half so I don't know if that is like a B5 or something I don't know but uh, you know it's not quite fitting all the way in so these are great okay so there's a little little introduction on her products there didn't see that before I like this I can see myself using that one yeah so I'm sure everybody is uh, acquainted with this and seen lots of flips of it looks like there's quite a lot of different pa papers in it let's see what does it does it say 48 pages it doesn't say what the repeat is you know what I think it's going to be half of the well, no maybe oh yeah there we go all right so there's two of each yeah that's definitely half of the book so 24 different pi pictures making 48 pages oh, that's good Please with that now the next thing I got because it wasn't even 50% off it was marked down to $17 and it was normally 45 so oh okay, yeah I guess that is basically not basically it is it is 50% but it was marked down instead of being 50%. I'm just trying to find a cutter here. Here we go. We have a exacto knife. So let's open this up. This is the 12 month undated planner kit here. So we get several items and this just like really looks pretty. So it looks like Okay, wait. Let's take a look at the back and see what the contents are. Alright, so there's a 12-month planner, and it's undated. There's a zipper pouch. Ooh. 93 clear stickers, four metal clips, and one sticky pad. Sticky notepad. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought it had a washi in it, but it doesn't, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've never seen this. I don't know if anybody uses it or not. I wonder what kind of, I wonder if it's a rings. It looks like it's rings. Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't really use rings, even though I have a couple of them. I would like to try using a rings for a uh, journal, not a, not a planner. But let's take a look at this. So the, um, it's a little bit wow that like that really feels nice it's really soft and it's and it feels like leather even though it's not not for this price point but it feels the insides feel like soft leather the outside feels like PVC it's puffy and um, the little dividers are gorgeous. So of course you know they're going to be. They're going to have her girls on them. Yep. March. Okay, so let's see what a, what a month is like. To do, goals, dreams, wishes. Okay, so that's how the month starts. Then you have a month sheet. Now these boxes are way too small me to use. I don't even know what size this is. Is this an A6? No, it's bigger than an A6. Maybe it's a B6. So, 
then you come to a week on two pages with a little box for every day. It's a Monday start, which I like. So I like this kind of a calendar to be a Sunday start, but I like my weekly pages to be a Monday start. So then it has one of those for each page. And at the end, does it have anything at the end? Okay, so at the end, on the back of one page, there's a grid for notes, and then there's a page that's just grids for notes. So yeah, that's I'm definitely going to use this at some point, probably for an art journal. But you never know. I may at some point be inspired to do planning in rings, though I doubt it. <laughs> so uh, that's good. Oh, okay, now here's the pouch. This is really pretty. It. I was wondering what, I was just thinking this is small, but it's got rings punched in it so you can put it in, in the planner. So let's see what exactly will fit in this because here I have a Wink of Luna brush. Oh, that goes in there. Okay, let's see. I've got a really long brush. Apple brush. Oh, that doesn't fit. Didn't expect it to. Is this a short one? No, that's a longer. <laughs> that one's even longer. What else have I got here? Okay, here I've got a black fine liner. Yeah, okay, so it'll fit your normal sized pens. Not long ones, though. That's really pretty. And it's just plastic. Oh, it's got her face on this side, so that's the way it goes. And then there are, oh, now these are nice. These are, these are brass clips. Let's see, I'm going to hold one up for you. Those are really nice. Oops, they have Jane Davenport engraved. Oh, there's even an eyelash. So there are three of those. Well, I'm definitely taking those out of the kit and I'm going to use them. Same with this. This is a tiny pad of sticky notes. Let's take one off and see how sticky they are. Let's put it on paper. Oh, they stick good. Put it back. Okay, so I'll be taking that out of the kit and using it as well. And then the last thing is some stickers. We got two sheets of stickers. This one has some tabs on it and then just your basic journaling. Yeah, they're just all basic, basic journaling ones. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, that, I think that's pretty good for $17. This. I would pay I would pay that like at normal price if I wanted this I would pay seventeen dollars for the for the thing. I would never have paid forty five dollars even just for this. Ah, very good. Okay, so I'm quite I'm quite happy with myself for having got every single item I bought fifty percent off. So yay! All right, so I hope you enjoyed having a peek at that stuff, especially if you've never really looked at Jane Davenport's other items other than her uh, paints, which was my case. So uh, in the meantime, until next time, bye-bye.